pleasure that we invite you to not die. The God has requested another trial for you, and so we present you with this manifestation of a location you should be familiar with. Let the sins flow through you. If you want to keep your soul, we advise you to play along and not fall into the hands of the enemies. Familiar faces will come from your left and right hand side in the office. Use the camera pad in each night to keep track of where everyone is. Camera buttons with a fiery icon represents the rooms enemies start from, so you can know how many are coming for you and where in the factory they begin their hunt. Use door lights sparingly and close the doors when needed. Survive. This marks the end of this pre-recorded message.
Welcome to the office exit. Enemies will try to attack you from the freezing room, as well as the office. They are coming from both sides. Once an enemy is in the freezing room, he is just one step away from reaching your location. Close the big metal door to stay safe. The enemy won't be able to break it open, and will be forced to turn around and leave after an attempt. Due to the door's metal and density, however, it is not recommended to keeping it closed, as it blocks the signal to the security cameras around the factory. The enemy coming from behind can be gradually pushed back through the camera system by initiating an electroshock in the room he currently resides in. The electroshock requires a cooldown, however, and is activated through the camera systems. The metal door cannot be closed during this operation. This marks the end of this pre-recorded message.
Welcome to the bathroom. Welcome to darkness. Only a slight hint of power is left in the building, and the cameras are thus practically unusable when it comes to looking around. However, as this is in the very center of the factory, you won't just be able to hear them now and then, but you will be able to hear each time enemies move to another room. One enemy moves from entrance two to a trip down to the cellar, to the machinery, and into your room. The other enemy will move from the control room, through the office, through the office exit, and into your room. Due to the power problems, there are safety measures installed in our recreation of Wario's factory. You can scan any room on your camera pad to see if any entity resists there. The scan will require manual recharging. The bathroom you are in has a flash. You must use this whenever an entity has entered. Use it before it's too late. Flashing them should send them back through the hallways, back to where they came from. Flashing while the bathroom is empty, however, will drain quite a lot of power. Track them using sound and scanning, and flash the bathroom only when needed. This marks the end of this pre-recorded message.
Welcome to the machinery. Today, the power for the entire factory, which includes your camera pad, will deplete constantly, no matter if you use the camera system or not. In your room, the big machine with the white button on it is a power generator. Activate that to start charging the factory's power up again. While charging, you will be unable to use your security cameras. There are two different entities coming for you today. One resides in the freezing room, and will move through the storage and entrance before reaching your location. You cannot defend yourself against this one. Should it reach your room, it's over. You will have to push it back towards the freezing room by staring at it on the cameras. The other entity is... different. It currently resides in the office, but as long as there is no noise coming from the power generator, it will stay in its place. It will only move as long as the power generator is charging. Should it reach your room, you will be able to defend yourself and send the entity back by shocking the dark section of the machinery. Be careful, however. Shocking the room when the entity isn't there will drain power. Keep the power up. Should it run out, there is no way to charge it back up. This marks the end of this pre-recorded message.
where you hid the bodies. The room where you committed your sins. Did you ever think about why there was a cellar in the first place? Did you know about the rest of the underground tunnels in Wario's factory? Did you know about the secrets he kept down there? <laughs> Maybe you will someday. It depends on how things are going. Anyway, there are two entities coming for you tonight. You currently have two perspectives available to you. One from your location, the cellar, and one from the office. You can only use the cameras from the office perspective, which will, of course, drain power. The first entity starts in the office exit and moves straight towards your room, the cellar. On the wall in front of you, you have an electroshock button. Follow the entity on the camera, and once you know he's right outside your room, give him an electric shock to send him back. If you try to shock the hallway around the corner when no one is there, the power will take a big hit. The other entity, however, is slowly invading, no matter where you are. Once he's ready, he'll appear right in front of you. The only way to prevent a painful experience is to use the office computer to absorb him into the screen, thus resetting his progress. The office computer, however, lacks power. In the cellar, you have to charge up a power battery. And once it's charged up, you can send it straight to the office. Pick it up and insert it into the computer, and it will do the rest of the job once the entity appears. Each time this entity is absorbed, the power battery will be fully depleted so you will need to send a new one. Since the battery charges very slowly, you should use any opportunity you have to charge one up. If you don't get a battery to the office computer in time, the consequences will be dreadful. This marks the end of this pre-recorded message.
Thank you.